Are you wondering if it's worth upgrading to Maple 2022? There's lots of great additions and improvements in this release, which you can explore in detail on our website. But there's actually a good chance that just a few of the enhancements in Maple 2022 will be enough to make this a worthwhile upgrade for you. Because among all the great new features and functionality across the entire product, there are some quality of life improvements that make some frankly kind of annoying stuff in Maple just go away. So in an attempt to make your upgrade decision easier, this video focuses on those improvements. Do you create plots in Maple? You'll find some very useful improvements to visualization in Maple 2022. For instance, you can plot tan of x and it'll look right. And so will 1 over 1 minus x, ceiling functions, and all sorts of functions with discontinuities. No more annoying vertical lines. No need for the discount option on the plot command. You can use the context menu plotting safely. You just get the plot you expect. And don't worry, plotting speed won't suffer as a result thanks to new adaptive plotting algorithms. Did you ever run into a situation where zooming, panning, or resizing your plot didn't actually give you the better view of the plot you were looking for? Now Maple recomputes and redraws when needed to give you what you wanted, a good look at your plot. The plot builder makes it easy to create and customize all sorts of different plots, including regular 2D and 3D plots, polar plots, contra plots, animations, and more. But that was true only if you wanted to plot a single expression. As soon as you wanted to plot more than one expression, you couldn't use the plot builder anymore. But now you can. Now maybe you don't use plots very much. So how about this? Do you ever export your document as a PDF or print it? You've probably learned to check the print preview first, and then gone back and forth making changes and checking it again, and again, and again. It was a pain, and the longer the document, the greater the pain. And now it's easy. A new layout mode lets you set up your document for PDF export or printing without having to go back and forth between your working view and your print preview. You see the page boundaries as you edit the document so you can adjust the content as you go. Here's one that affects many people. Do you use zoom magnification for yourself or when sharing or projecting your screen? If so, I bet you found it annoying that squinting was still required to see the table of contents or search results in the help window, but not anymore. Still not sure if the upgrade is worth it? Then go check out the full What's New in Maple 2022 and learn about new problems Maple can solve, as well as new tools for education, programming, content development, connectivity, and more. And if you are more than one version behind, you can also explore features that were introduced in previous versions of Maple, so you can see what else you've been missing.